Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Uh, the players are about to walk out. It's game time, baby. It's show time. I see the chat's already been popping off since pre the live. Okay, let's catch up with everything everyone's saying. We're going to win. We got to think positively. Exactly. <clears throat> hmm. You think the script is for Jordan to win it? I don't think so. Just dropping in. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, everyone drop me your score predictions per usual, the usual thoughts. Thoughts on the lineup? Pretty strong. I'm, I didn't expect... I mean, I was curious to see how they were going to line up Make Dean Sardar. That's how they're going to go with it. Fair enough. But yeah... I think it's a pretty strong lineup, honestly. If you guys haven't seen the lineup, here you go. So we got, it looks like Asmoon, Striker. It looks like someone's in the middle, though. Make these on left, John Bashkin right. That's a really lethal front four. Really lethal. DMs of Saeed and Omid. Mr. Questionable himself. Hajj Safi, Rezaion. I think it's pretty good. I think it's solid. I like it. I'm going to trust what... Uh, Kalenoi has. I appreciate it, Shay. Saying good luck. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going 2 1. Win for Iran. Oh, wow. Shay's going 2-1 for Qatar. 2-1 for Qatar? Again, we just got a $2 donation. Let's do uh, do this right. Donate. Go Iran. I appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. That really means a lot. Pahram, welcome. Parham, welcome to the stream. I'm just waking up. I literally just woke up. Welcome, welcome, guys. Welcome, UG. Welcome. You're going 2-1 for Iran. I think that's solid. Solid, solid stuff. Welcome everyone that are slowly rolling into the stream. Let's get those let's get those score predictions before the kick match kicks off. You're going 1-0 Iran. Uh, you guys want my score predictions? You're like thinking to yourselves, no, Sean, we don't want your score predictions. You're not good at predictions. You're not good at them. They're singing the national anthem right now. It's amazing. I'm going to go with 3-1 Iran. I'm going to be really optimistic. I'm on the positive hype train now. Salam, Muhammad, Amin, Alabedashti. Sorry if I butchered the last name. Khubin, everything's good? Nah, Shay, come on, bro. We want positive energy on the stream. Going to make myself some pasta right now and join the game, dude. I had some pizza last night, a pizza, but New York style of pizza. I know, it's like a big slap in the face, huh, UG? Yo, yo, welcome, welcome. Good Shay, good Shay, that's what I like to see. Daniel saying 3-1, Iran 3. Okay, so you guys are copying my predictions now, I see. You guys are copying me. 3-0, Iran, let's do it, Iran. We are going to stop all Arab final. Yes, baby, that's so funny. Everyone's so obsessed with this whole Arab final thing. Hello, everybody. Shaheen, welcome to the stream. Welcome. He's a staple, staple follower on the streams. Yes, I agree with Freddie. Everybody that is in right now, like the stream before kickoff. Like the stream before kickoff. Let's get more likes. This is the stream for the match, not Deadpool TVs. I'm just kidding. I always love throwing Jack under the bus. 
of course, Persian time. I'm always streaming these games. So we've done it. We've streamed every single game so far during the Asian Cup, and one of them was at 3.30 in the morning. I was exhausted throughout the rest of that day, but luckily didn't mess up my sleep schedule since I just pulled the all-nighter. Yeah, I think the lineup's... I think it's pretty good, actually. I think he's trying to... I know, no Kaedi, no Mohebi, no Golizade. I don't mind it, but I think it's a very offensive and lethal front four. I think it's a very lethal front four, and I like that. I think he wants to come out hot-handed in the beginning, so there's no doubt in this game. It's 2 a.m. in Sydney. Well, 2 a.m. is not bad. I wish the game was at 2 a.m. because I can stay up till 2, but 3 is around the time when I start getting really tired. Let's effing go, Jojo. Dude, you're great. Merci. Of course, you're great too. Dude, that would be the dream. Then he gets that man of the match card in EAFC 24. That's what I would want to see. Well, guys, we're, we're about to kick off. Okay, I'm getting a little excited. I'm getting a little nervous. Getting a little nervous here. Dude, this is a bit scary. Dude, guys, this is not scary. This is exciting. It's exciting. Before, don't forget, before the game starts, let's drop a like on the stream before the game starts. Don't be scared. HKAR. It's okay. We're all in this together. We're all in this together. Paramount Plus, yeah, that's what I'm watching it on. Yes, the players did sing the national anthem from what I saw. Okay, before the game kicks off, I need to quickly go just put some stuff in the washers. Just give me one second. Chat, keep the chat alive, okay? I don't want to seem like I'm doing anything wrong. So be right back. Okay, we're back. Yeah, welcome back. A fresh Mehdi. Mehdi's got to be the man this game. He ditched us in the match against Japan. He's got to be back in this game for sure. Shaheen, you got to give me some context behind this whole referee stuff. Because I've been seeing it on social media, but I don't totally understand... The backstory behind it, if you want to explain for me. Okay, we got all the Ron flags dropping in here. Yeah, what's going on with the ref? I don't totally get it either, but we're kicked off too, by the way. We are officially kicked off in the match. 
No, I'm glad Team Ellie is done with their childish behavior from the World Cup. Fair enough. People are pissed that the red uh, that the red is from the Kuwait when one of the sides is an Arab team. Oh, okay. So you think there might be any bias from it? Okay, I see what you guys mean. The referee could have been from any place, but they picked one from the Persian Gulf. He's also very little, has very little experience. Oh, fair enough then. That answers that. Fair enough. Oh, okay. You guys want to synchronize with me? So I'm currently at 127, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. There you go. Yeah, the thing is, especially that last game too, like we smacked them. Obviously, different circumstances. We played in Iran. We it was under Carlos Kirosh. Elmo, you're 30 seconds ahead? Dude, why are my streams always so far behind? That's crazy. It's a big yikers for me. Big yikers. Make the already in behind. Dang, strong start so far. Strong start so far. We're already getting Make the in behind on goal. Things you love to see. Good start. I like it. Bro, I'm four minutes in stop. Now you're just... Oh! Oh, he scored! Sardar! Finally! Holy shit, what a goal! What a great start! Let's get in! Get in! As Moon with his first, his first goal since the very first match. What a start! Arian Kalanui Masterclass incoming! Let's go! Boom, 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 boom! Qatar ain't shit! As Moon with the weird flick bicycle kick! Hoo ha, baby! Let's go! Dude, what a goal! Could be. I mean, hey, he got robbed of a possible goal of the tournament. That could be a goal of the tournament right there, folks. Oh, with the as with the little salute celebration, you think he's Mbappe? Do that little knee side, little salute. Well, great start, guys. That's awesome. And also, we got another dono. Every stream so far, we have gone at least one donation, and I love that we're continuing this train throughout this tournament. Damn. Qatar almost clapped back immediately. Well, shit, what a great start, guys. Great stuff. Iranians love bicycle kicks. I mean, I don't know if we can fully count this as a bike, but it was the similar motion to it for sure. Fantastic start. And it was a wicked and wild wind when Asmoon went in and scored again.
passion money. I agree. Passion is more important than money. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Let's get the second and third, then we can start celebrating getting to the final. I'm not saying anything until then. I'm glad we're starting off strong, so now the emphasis is on Qatar. They can't just dig in, park the bus type of shit, you know? I mean, well, well, I mean, I don't think they're even rated. But let's keep it 100. Maybe only the Qataris rate themselves. I know, I need more goals. I agree with JoJo. I need more goals. I think after Asmoon's goal, we all, if you haven't dropped a like yet, I think it's time to drop the like. Dude, my, my what did I say? 3-1? My 3-1 prediction is looking good so far, guys. Hey, some of you said 3-0. So if we keep the clean sheet, that'd be fantastic too. Yeah, they're forced to come at us now. And that's good because now there's going to be more space. Do you remember last time we played Qatar in Iran? Was it in Iran or was it in Jordan? Whatever, wherever it may have been, where we beat them 4-0. Like it was a pretty stale game up until Kanani's first goal, where then after that we ran riot. It just takes that one goal, in my opinion, against Qatar, because I think Qatar is mentally fragile. It's funny because, like, you remember when we played in that little Jordan International tournament, that four-team tournament? It was, like, what, Iraq, Jordan, Qatar, and us? It actually looks like good preparation now because now we've played Jordan quite recently. I mean, I guess the same could be said for Jordan, but it looks good now. It's funny because we thought we had such terrible friendlies going into the Asian Cup. Same with, like, playing in that uh, playing Uzbekistan, like the CAFA Nations Cup final. Because at least that was good experience playing against Uzbekistan for qualifiers. Like, ended up panning out quite nicely for us in preparation before this tournament. Because, like, Japan, who else? Australia, all these other, like, bigger Asian nations got, like, higher quality friendlies. But, obviously, what good did it do them? You know what I mean? Like, it didn't do them any good because they obviously are all crashed out of the tournament. Well, we've played against all these teams, so we are we have that familiarity. Just something to think about. I was thinking about that. I don't know if you guys did too, but us having those friendlies, yes, they seem like like pointless or not good friendlies, but now we're facing off against all of these teams in these tournaments and important matches, so now we have that experience. It can't be like that game where Jordan scored and then Iran won. This could work. If we, uh, we need more goals. Yes, I agree. Oh, we also got another dono from Daniel. Nice, good punch, Baron Vaunt. Good stuff. I like that. Crazy as moon goal. Daniel, shout out to you that you're in the stream. You're an absolute legend. Yeah, uh, I wasn't, cars. Yeah, basically that game did cause Carlos Kirosh is like the beginning to the end of his, uh, Qatar tenure was that 4 0 game. It's, I believe, their third goal they've conceded in this tournament. Third one. They gave us a thousand seats in the stadium. I wish Iran gave it back. As No, I'm pretty sure there's more Iranis than a thousand. They found a way to get more tickets in the game. One thousand percent. No question about it. Yeah, guys, you guys were all worried about the ref and stuff. You guys don't need to worry about the ref. It's easy money. Oh, shit. Mistake from us. But looks like. Khalilzadeh cleans it up nicely. Or was that Eza Talahi? Well, Baranvan doing his weird shit, guys. Again, I rate Baranvan, but like he always has these like lapses in judgment, which I don't rate. Exactly. He scored when we needed him most. The thing is... Okay, that's such a dive. Get up. Back. Bro, get up almost, Ali. 
I rate almost Ali, but Jesus, that's, yeah, not a pen. No, no, that's not a penalty. I'm not too worried about the uh the ref as the VR room is from Thailand and China. Okay, that's good. Good to know. I'm glad you guys know all these things because I didn't know. Thing is, yeah, Qatar have been on the front foot now since we since they've conceded. Everyone's worried about the ref. Guys, we don't need to worry about the ref. We are okay. We are a-okay. We're a-okay. Jahan Bash getting behind. Oh, shit. That was a good pass. That should have been two. Was he? He might have been off sides, though. Ugh. Just behind him. Good job by John Bash getting into the space. But Mehdi, I don't know. It's because of how the ball bounced. It was a little bit tough for Ali Reza to either take control of or hit it first time or let it go to his path and then hit it. I think he did the best he could. Mehdi has to just be a little bit more on his toes. And I think that comes down to match sharpness since he didn't play in the last game. Yeah, that's probably a foul. Yeah, almost 2 nil. Super close. I know, guys. Yeah, they are. I think since they've conceded... I mean, that's a good thing, though, but it's leaving up. See, okay, we're on the attack again. That's fine. Salman. Uh, Salman, why did you cross that ball? What was that? He had so much more space than that. Why did he do that? That was super stupid. Salman. What the crap, bro? Did you guys just see what I saw? Because he had so much more space, but instead he just chose to try to hook it. He did a switch. That was weird. That should have been two right there. Dang, man, don't make this like the Syria game where we easily can make it 2-0, but we don't. I think what we need to do, guys... And girls, I don't know. I don't know if we have any women in the stream. But I think we need to like... I think we need to like the stream for another goal. The more we like... I'm just kidding. I'm just trolling now. Yeah, I thought he... I thought he just... Yeah, I thought he just skied it. I think he tried to like... At first, I thought he tried to dink it over the goalkeeper. But no, he tried to straight up cross the ball when he was like... 15 yards out in front of goal, which is so weird to me. Demoralizing goal. If we score the second, we can score five. Holy smokes! Hey, I like the optimism. We gotta, we gotta speak it into existence. You know, we gotta speak it into existence. The thing is, I had such harsh critic. I mean, a lot of people have been so harsh on Sardar throughout this tournament because he's been ghosting up to the Syria match. No, up to the Japan match. He honestly has been ghosting this tournament. But I don't mind because, as I said, all of that can be forgotten about as long as he has good games in these important matches against Japan, against Qatar, possibly in the final if Iran advances. Which he has, because he scored against Japan. He got an he did score against Japan, didn't count, but in our hearts it counted. And he got an assist. He scores early on in this game. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a second. That's all that matters. As long as he redeems himself and finally does it, I don't care. I don't mind. He yeah, he may be ghost in the beginning. He was just cooking, guys. We had to let Asmun cook. Sada has to cook a little, you know. 
Uh, we're doing the Long Thrones again. That was so annoying. I don't know if you guys were in the stream for that. But the the Jahambash Long Throws, I don't know. I didn't like them. I didn't really rate them. I thought they were kind of pointless, but that's just me. Oh, shit. That clearance was a bit nippy. Oh, nice. Make these through. And that's a red. Oh, no. It's a clean tackle, apparently. I guess no one's protesting it. Matey's still on the floor. So I'm saying, man, it might be a foul. Let's see what the VAR room says. Let's see the replays. I need to see the replays. But Mehdi didn't object, though. Mehdi did not say anything. Holy shit. You gotta be joking me. That shot w w wouldn't have even been a goal if it was on target. Why are we... Ah, you gotta be joking me. Oh, it might even have been a penalty. That slaps at Shoja's hand. Jesus Christ. Oh, as a Talahi, what are you doing? Why are we doing this? We started off this game so well. That was such a stupid goal to have given away. And the ref gives a yellow card to someone on the Team LA bench. Yeah, that was such a cheap, stupid goal. Because it wasn't even going to... That shot was so tame. It was such a bad shot, and it just hit a massive deflection. God damn, bro. We're back to this again. I was feeling so good. Jasim. I want to see a replay on the tackle, but we haven't seen one replay yet. Well, I haven't. God damn it. And guys, we're back to Heart Attack FC. God damn, this is why we can't have good things. Okay, come on. Let's make it 2 nil. Ugh. Oh, we could have easily made it 2 nil up to that point, but we didn't. And now we've conceded. Seriously, we are just heart attack FC. They're not even showing a single replay of the tackle. It's so annoying. Okay, corner. Team Melly versus the Arab world in this match. I don't know. Seriously, I don't like the long throw-ins either. Yes, Qatar did score. That goal was so stupid. The thing is, is then we have the chance that where Jao Mash tries to square it to make the Samon Godus's chance where he weirdly crosses the ball after he shoots it. Oh shit. Hodge Safi gets absolutely done diddled and he's going to get a yellow. That was so bad. Ah, shit. Well, now Hodge Suffy's going to have to play like 70 minutes on a yellow. Not good.
Don't even bring up that Diego Costa goal. That goal was so stupid because he didn't even shoot it. It just goes off his shin and in. Super stupid. Get, give Rezaon the assist to Diego Costa's goal because that's all it was. Matt, welcome to the stream, bro. You've missed out on a lot. It's been an eventful 20 minutes. Okay, so no foul there. Nice, Jahan Bash getting stuck in there. Love it. Jahan Bash, is, he's getting in this. You can see it. Welcome, welcome. I'm watching the game on Thriller TV. This tournament is Tom Korean football. Hey, man, I wanted to say to all the Koreans, oh, that sucked yesterday. I really wanted you guys to win that match. Really was hoping Korea would win. That was definitely a heartbreak for South Korea. But yes, this uh, tournament has been very weird. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't count us out yet. Our game's not over. We're tied right now. But yes, I get what you mean. Yeah, I know. They really want this all-Arab final really badly. I know we started off the first like 10 minutes so strong, but we didn't capitalize, get that second goal. And instead we concede a really, really cheap goal, really cheap. I know we never got to see the replay to that. Never. To be fair though, Shaheen, he didn't, no one like complained about it. So I'm going to guess that it wasn't a foul. No one objected it to the ref. So Yeah, for a neutral viewing, because most people, like neutrals anyway, they just watch the final. And you'd want it to be good, because it's a good look for AFC. So I totally get what you mean, Tom. Did it, Matt? Okay, well, we di I didn't see any replays of it, but I'm not surprised, because no one said anything. Like, none of the Iranian players contested it or whatnot. Okay, well, some Uncle Deuce just got body checked, and it was not even a foul. Makes sense. I think an Iran-South Korea final would have been the most ideal in regards to viewing two powerhouse nations in the continent or federation. No, don't say you see us bottling it. Are you out of sync? I'm at 24, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Get it out. It's just now we're playing all rattled. You skipped class for this? I would do the same if I had class. You think so? Questionable decisions? Yeah, I mean, it's been a bit interesting. Seriously. Iran only having 53% possession and Qatar at 47? Surprises me. Okay, cool. Matt's on about the same page as me. It's good. If you guys want to sync up, 
gave us my time. If you guys need it again, let me know. It's very unorganized from us. Very unorganized. Very, very much so. Do classic game with Arabs with all the psychological issues. Interesting. Why did he try to cross that first time? He had so much space. Where's the foul? Ref! Ref! Okay, thank God. Ball never lies. Ball's back straight into our possession. Jesus, where's the foul? I think as the game progresses, yeah, we might see that. If it was still 1-0... Oh, God sakes. Now, the thing is, let's not think about the referee's decisions. Let's just focus on our game. That's what we can control. That's what we can focus on. Let's not focus on arguing with the ref. Let's focus on winning this game. I think Iran do look a little nervous. Because this is this could be an opportunity for the first time since, what, the 70s that we can make the Asian Cup final? Huge opportunity. Well, shit, that was a bad pass. Nice, good stuff. Okay, come on, 3v3. Mm, the back heel, someone in the final third has just been so questionable. It was the right idea, but you got to put it in his path. Not behind him. Oh, no. Love from the powerhouse of South Asia. Shout out to you, Aryan Jr. Do you think it's going to go to penalties? Well, if we win the game, I'm hoping that's the case. Haven't quite sealed it off. He's got a goal, but there's still more. And the job's not done yet, as Kobe Bryant once said. It's been the 60s since the 60s for us, bro. He's like, hold my beer. All right, cool. Let's see. Saman. Let's make these opportunities count. Saman has been so dog shit in the final third. What are these passes? His question, his decision making is so wank. Yeah, there's no foul in that sequence. No foul. No foul. Yeah, Salmon's been so questionable in the final third. Need better quality from him in the final third when he gets into the box. I know I wanted to relax, enjoy the game, and it was relaxing for the first 10 minutes, and then we just decided to throw it all away. No, not the long throws again. Unless we score from one, I don't want to see these long throws, which obviously you got to keep doing them until you score. If we keep it in... Qatar's defensive half, I think the more, like, because Qatar defensively are not good. Plenty of Iranians in the stadiums from what I'm seeing. With that Iran chant, I'm kind of bopping out to it, you know? Yeah, you don't want this to go to pens. Dude, again, we're just using these long throws as if they're like corners, bro. Thing is, they haven't worked. They haven't been actually lethal at all. But then again, isn't that how we scored the first goal was through the long throw? Unless I'm wrong.
Nice flick. Shoot. Nice. Nice. Come on, Ali. Good. good. It's an okay cross. Would sell at least went to somebody. Yeah, that's true. I keep forgetting Qatar is the home team. He keeps it in. Oh, shit. Salmon, what have you done? Holy shit. That was nippy. Dude, Salmon Rodus is having a howler this game. He literally just said, oh, come up, he threw on goal. Oh, no, it's Omid Ibrahimi. I'm sorry. Thank God Akram Afif can't finish because he shoots it right at Baron Vond. Good job from Baron Vond to stay his ground. He doesn't dive too soon. Jesus Christ, guys. We're really going to throw this away? We're going to really do this? Come on, man. Yeah, see, that's the guitar I know and love. Long shots that, that don't do nothing. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> nah, I'm scared. Nah, don't be scared. We're in this together. It's a group effort. Don't be scared. Yeah, we definitely got away. That was really bad by Omid. Really bad. bottling it in the iran way no we're not bottling it guys we're not gonna bottle it i hope not anyway jesus christ again we're just giving it away to qatar how do we start this game off so well just for it to Omid has not been it for a long time. Let's keep it 100. I was wish I wish I was at this game too to be honest. I would love to have watched it. Why does the referee want it taken again? We took the ball. Oh, he didn't blow his whistle, bro. Stop, ref. He they took the throw. Then it's our ball then. Come on. That's so silly. That's so, so silly. All right, cool. It's our ball. It's off Akram Afif. Good job, ref. All right, we'll take the throw. The sun is just starting to come up over here. Nice. The daylight is coming out. Nah, guys, don't be scared. Don't be worried. Before going into the stadium for England versus Iran, there was... 50-something Iranians, man, who asked for my number so he they could brag about Iran winning the game. Wow, that's crazy. That's quite funny, too. Did you know that Qatar has two players originally from Somalia? Yeah, I think one of them's almost Ali, isn't it? Dude, halftime talk needs to be like the one against Japan. Seriously, bro. Holy smoke.
Maybe I need to give the halftime speech. I think that's what we're hearing, guys. God, everyone's just slipping and sliding on this turf. What a pass that was going to be. Holy smokes. That almost was a dime. Holy smokers. That was really nice. Oh, this is the stadium we lost to the USA in? Oh my god, I did not even realize that. Did you guys know that? This is the stadium we lost to the US in? No wonder why we're playing like dog poo. It's just like in that Hong Kong game, because that was in the stadium we lost to England in. Oh, that's crazy. The stadium is cursed. Nah, bruh. Why? Oh my god, that's so crazy. No wonder why we're playing so bad. Ah, shite. Why do they have to bring that up, bro? Oh, shit. What a bad pass. Good job. Someone goes and wins it back. That's the type of shit I wanted Omid to do when he... Good ball over the top, but goalkeeper's alert. And Omi just clears it out to back to Qatar. Yeah, seriously. Education Stadium. Final, it's not, but it's in Lusail. We never played in Lusail. Education Stadium, that's where the semifinal should have been. Yeah, I was about to ask how much bad luck is there that it's the same stadium that Pulisic scored against Iran and nah, dude, fuck Pulisic. I, I don't like that guy. So overrated. One of the most overrated voice, voices, overrated players. Do you have a broadcast voice, but picture not allowed? Don't know what that means, but I appreciate it. That's true. Messi lifted the World Cup. Mehdi Taremi lifts the Asian Cup. I think we're seeing a pattern here coming up. Yep, I was at that stadium as well. Okay, that was a bad clearance by s -son. Dude, what is this? Why are we clearing the ball so poorly? Wow, that was uh, really bad by us. LeBron James of soccer. It could be, but like, I don't think we didn't. We only played one game to penalties. Like the Japan game, we played to 90, luckily. If we played that one an extra time, maybe. Seriously, I mean, you guys saw the shit that went down yesterday on Twitter from from that whole thing with USA fans posting that they could like easily win the Asian Cup. God, man. And they constantly use the argument that they beat Iran 1-0 at the World Cup. Such an annoying joke. If you don't get context, and don't chime in pretending like you know what you're talking about. It's all about the U.S., all about this, all about that. That was a really commanding block. Okay, cool. Yellow card to a Qatari player, nice. Qatar lost to Senegal here, also Algeria in the FIFA Arab Club, but then again beat Oman there. Oh, interesting, man. I'm surprised you know all this. Yeah, we need that pep talk. Dude, why do people mention 2022 Iran? I don't know. The 2018 team, the, the shirt that I'm wearing right now is like not spoken about like at all. Oh, I'm just seeing the replay from the Mehdi tackle. It is a clean tackle. It's actually a really good tackle. Oh, bro, the shot was so bad too. They're replaying Qatar's goal. 
It was. I don't even know if it was even on target. Honestly, it was such a tame effort. Uh, with the expand, what's that? With the expanded format, yes, I think there's a good chance they'll qualify. Oh, Rezinho, welcome, bro. Why are we so short? I don't know, bro. We had too much must. That's why we're short. This is uncharted territories for us. We've never... I mean, dude, it's like... It, I don't know. The emphasis is on us. That's the thing. Okay, corner. I don't know. I mean, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm not a player. But the thing is... There were chances, man, to make this thing 2-0 super early on, but we chose not to do that. We chose to rest on our laurels with that one goal from Asmoon. Nice. Short corner. Red Zion. Shit cross, bro. Come on, man. If you're going to play it short like that, at least make the cross good. Dude, I'd argue, yeah, we were playing better with, without Mate in the team last game, so it's like, oh man, that's annoying. So I hope Iran's not feeling the pressure. Do you think that's the case? I don't know. I do not know. Nice. Shit, a brick. This is a joke. I can't do this. We're choking. How do we start off this game so strong we concede right before half? Mate, bro. Jesus Christ. God sakes, man. I'm going to literally shoot myself. What is this? So stupid. I'm super ticked off. God damn, man. Why did Akram a few have the best game of his goddamn life right now? This is so annoying. We're actually losing. What have we done? Okay, well, if Qatar can score two, let's. Now we need to score two. Bro, come on. The goalkeeper coming in and with that kind of a. Uh, we can't speak again if we lose the guitar, bro. It's 
It wasn't even that bad. Come on. The goalkeeper should get a yellow card for that. What the heck? Ah, oh, this is such a shame. This is such a shame. We're playing so bad. This is such a shame. Because we started off the game so well, but we didn't choose to make it 2 0. It's our own doing. We only have ourselves to blame. I don't think it was a foul, though. If we could get one goal before halftime, that would be great. It's a corner. If we get a goal before halftime, that would be good. If we get a goal before half. At least that would... Uh, such a strong start, but then just to throw it away... Now we fall into Qatar's. They're just going to park the bus. Come on, guys. Jesus, count on he almost scored. They're reviewing it. No, it doesn't. Count on he, how have you missed from there, bro? It's not a penalty. We're not going to get anything. It's not going to, yeah, it's not going to count. Kanani, how have you not scored there? That should have been a that should have been a goal. Kanani, come on, bro. It was an open net. You were wide open. Yeah, it's obviously not a penalty. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a pen. I'm not worried, but he should have scored there is what I'm annoyed about. God's sakes, bro. Come on, guys. Let's get a goal. Okay, another corner. Now we're starting to play with urgency, but I hate that now we're playing with urgency once we're losing. I know, no defense, just all offense. Oh, looks like the Qatari goalkeeper is hurt. God, the Akram Afif goal is just stupidly insane. He had to have been good for this game, man. Couldn't have done that in any of the previous games. Yeah, so he gets hurt and can't play. Just wanted to have an enjoyable semifinal match, but nope.
mean, how is that not a foul? Come on, boot it in. Boot it in, Baron Vaughn. Good, good job. Surprised they haven't called for half time yet. All right, that's half time. Ah, this is so frustrating. We're losing. Yeah, I think we need to make subs at halftime. I think I think you have to take off Jehan Bashk. I mean, I don't know. Is I don't know. He's gonna go with the zero subs. Oh my god! I can't believe we're losing to Philip and Qatar. We are losing to Flippin' Qatar. This is so frustrating. I can't believe we're not going to beat Qatar. I mean, it's got to be a crazy, crazy second half performance. Crazy second half performance. I think, yeah, you bring in Golizad. Uh, I know it's not lost, but the thing is we're playing now in. The thing is, if we were going into the half 1-1, sure, that's okay. If we were going in 1-0 at the half, that's fantastic. That's The game plan is going perfectly well. But we're losing. The one thing we didn't want, because you know Qatar is just going to bunker down and play defense, and we know they can't do that. They've only conceded three goals up, like three goals now in this tournament. Three. Granted, I think that's about as many as we've conceded. Maybe we've conceded four. Shaheen with a five dollar dono. Go Iran. Regroup. It's called soccer for a reason. <laughs> I mean, we had such a strong start to the game, Shaheen. I appreciate it. I don't have faith. I will, guys. I'm going to try to. But, geez, that was such a terrible, like, what annoys me is we could have easily been up 2-0 in the first 10 minutes. Easily. Man. I don't, guys, let's not blame the ref. Come on now. It's not like... The goal Qatar scored was so jammy. I can't believe Qatar is going to go, possibly could go to back-to-back -back Asian Cup finals. Just shows something suspects going on with that for sure. I mean, what a terrible block by Ezzetalahi. Terrible block. You don't turn your body away. And then that Mehdi, uh, Mehdi's got to get more stuck in there, man. Yeah, well, Afif is definitely carrying them. He's by far their best player. What penalty are we talking about? Was there a possible penalty? Oh, the, the handball? Like the count on anything? That's not a... It's not... Kanani should have just scored. Yeah, the ref has been fine. I think the ref has made the right calls. I don't think he's done anything. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm curious. Yeah, we we played so shit. It's our fault. Seriously, we played so dog poo. So dog poo. Halftime, by the way, guys. Everyone smash a like on the live stream. Everyone smash a like. If you haven't already. I mean, it's our own fault. It's our own fault. We're not playing well. We only have ourselves to blame. We have no one else to blame. It's not on the referee. Let's get this thing to like... Guys, There's let's get this thing easily to 50 likes. Let's get the stream to 50 likes. We're at half of that. We're at 25. There's over 70 of us in here. Let's get this to 50. I know. The thing is, is so Jack's a good neutral viewer. Like, everyone knows Qatar's wank. And so it's going to be such a bad look for Iran if they can't even beat Qatar. 
I know. We know. But the thing is, Jack, in these Asian Cups, bro, there's a reason they won it last time, and they were that wank at the World Cup. They just somehow have this. We just... Ah, so stupid. Kano Ni should have... There's been so many chances we could have had at least a second goal in this game. Make these chance, Salman's chance. We've been on like breakaways multiple times. Kanani had a really good opportunity. We need to make subs. That's for sure. That's a guarantee. Everyone needs to like this stream. Let's get this to 50 likes uh, before the second half starts. And as well, we need to. Make subs, I think. I, the thing is, I thought the same thing in the Japan game because we were down 1-0. The thing is, we've, we've been able to come back and t against tougher opponents. We've been able to. Can we do it again for a second time? That's the thing. Yeah, Meiti has been incredibly disappointing. Incredibly. He's only had one good game so far this tournament. That was against UAE. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Someone's been quite questionable in this game. Subs I'd recommend. Mohebi maybe. Golizade. Wingers adds stretches the game a little bit more. You think so? That was a huge deflection. Sus. I mean, granted, yeah. I mean. I don't know about I don't think the first goal is his fault. I mean, but gee, I mean he is way far off his line. That is a bit weird too. God. Yeah, I hope halftime's good for Iran. John Mash has been okay. Probably. I mean, I think Akram Afif could play for a European team. Would will he though? Probably not. I don't know, man. Matheys had some okay opportunities this game. He hasn't quite gone himself in it. That's the thing. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, but then we always play bad against the 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 lesser opponents, and that's what we're doing here. I swear, if Qatar wins, I think a lot of people want to see Iran win this game. That's the thing. A lot of people want to see Iran. Man, this sucks. If we blow this, bro, I'm going to be so upset. Super upset. I th uh, thought this was going to be such an easier time and day. But no, instead, we're somehow <laughs> losing the game. Guys, we're 15 more likes away from 50 likes before halftime. Can we get there? We can still win it. I'm 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 sorry, Joja. I'm sorry. I'm just worried now. We're losing. But let's get the stream to 50 likes before half. I don't know how many more times I gotta tell you guys. 50 likes. We're like we're only 15 away. Let's get it to 50 likes. That's easy. Let's try to be positive. Let's try to be positive. I think we ended the first half at least well. I think we played a lot better. Just that Akram a thief goal. Go back to when I said 3-1, you're on. It's east. Hit the legs. It's true. At least we are still in it. I mean, one goal, it's tied. I just don't like that we're in a losing position. If we get one goal, I'll be happy, because then at least we're not losing. I know, seriously, it's not funny anymore. The jokes are The jokes are done.
Yeah, I know. I say the same thing. Akram Afif carrying for sure. He's been carrying Qatar for many, many years. That's not just today. He's been carrying Qatar for a very long time. Throw back to 40 minutes ago when when uh, life was good and we were up 1-0. Life was good. And seriously, right from the get-go in the second half, get a goal. I know, Matoma did nothing against us. We have a fief being messy. I know, it's so crazy. You think so? We play better from losing positions? I think there's more ur urgency for sure because we're losing. You guys think we should sub off Mehdi? Don't let Mehdi cook at all? That's crazy. I mean, I get where you guys are coming from. But that's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Sub off Mehdi. By the way, we're only like three likes away from 50 likes. So let's get this over 50 likes before the second half starts in about, what, a couple more minutes? I mean, Matey's doing okay. He just hasn't been that involved. He hasn't had any clear-cut opportunities. God damn, man. You guys are going in on Matey. Who do you guys want do you guys think should come on in the second half? If I don't think I don't know he's gonna make any subs. I think you bring on a goal. I think you bring on Golizade. I really, really do. I said that against Japan too, but I was so proven wrong. I don't care what you do as long as we win the game. I think John Bashi's been kind of below par this game. Mohebi did have a good game against Japan. That's true. Do you bring him on? No, 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 no. This is where we stop. Mohalu, really? Guy D is not. He's on the bench, bro. He's rooted to the bench, Magnus. Rooted to the bench. All right, guys. Second half starting. This is it. 45 minutes of possibly getting ourselves to our first Asian Cup final in decades. Oh, my God, bro. We're the first ones out on the pitch. Yeah, Mohal, don't talk. I agree with Amir. Don't talk about those two. But if shit starts hitting the fan, I think one of them are going to have to come on. I know. Why is this game harder than the Japan game? Because of what uh, Shaheen said. We play better against the bigger teams than we do against the small teams. Oh, yeah, huh? A thief spelled backwards is FIFA. <laughs> That's funny. Interesting observation. Seriously, everyone start praying, bro. Let's come on. Let's get this going. No subs, by the way. It's the same exact lineup. Oh, Mohebi's coming in. Okay, who's coming off for Mohebi, though? I'm assuming it's Omid. So we're putting some on. David Beckham's at the match? That's crazy. They just panned the Bex. Bex is in. Bex is in the building. That's I know that's what I'm saying. That was crazy. 
<laughs> so random. Just pan to Beckham. My guy's scouting for Inter Miami. Okay, so oh no, wait, what? We're bringing on Milad Mohamadi and Mohebi. So Hajj Safi is coming off for Milad Mohamadi. That's fine. I don't mind that. That's an okay sub. And Mohebi's, I'm assuming, coming on for Omid Ebrahimi. That's my guess. My God, man, why is he pulling his pants down so far? Holy shit, we just saw some Mohebi Bunda live on camera. <laughs> I've always dreamt of watching Mohebi, David Beckham. Loki. Okay, corner right from the get-go. Okay. Yeah, Omid's out. Did, is it going to be a possible review for a penalty? Handball? What are we thinking? Strong start? So are they going to review it? I, I don't think it is. I mean, it definitely hits his hand. That's all hand. But his hand's like up here. I guess it, you could argue it is extended. Yeah, bad tackle from almost Ali. Oh, geez, that's a terrible tackle on Khali Azadeh. Jesus Christ. Honestly, I could see that possibly. I mean, let's see. They're still reviewing it, man. I mean, hey, I wouldn't mind it being given as a pen. I could see it being given, though, because his hand is so high up. Come on. Just give us the pen, bro. It hits so much of his hand. Oh my god, he's reviewing it. Guys? Okay, come on, everyone. Good food you. Good food you. Good food you. Come on, brother. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, bald man. Please give us the pen. Please. We will all send supplies to Kuwait for the boys. Come on, please. 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 I don't give a shit. Give us the benefit of the doubt for once. Come on. Nah, come on, just give it to us. I don't care if you think it's a pen or not a pen. Just give us the pen. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please, 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 please. All right, come on. We got the pen, boys. Okay. Make these step up score. We're back in the game. It's definitely not a pen, but I don't give a rat's ass. I don't give a rat's ass that if it was a pen or not. 
And a yellow. Fuck yes. Okay. Come on, matey. Get our SPAC in the game. Dude, that Kuwaiti man. We were all worried about the rep. He's on our side. He's on with us. He wants to see us succeed. Come on, matey. We just got a golden ticket right here. Let's tuck this shit. Nah, we just got the golden ticket. Nah, give it to Mehdi. It's not John Bass' job. Come on, let's go. Let's take it quick. Let's make it happen, Mehdi. Come on, Mehdi. Give, we got the pen. We're back in this, boys. I'm not looking at the chat. That's what I've done every penalties we've gone. I don't look at the chat. Come on. Bum, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Oh, it's Jahambash again. Oh, it's not Mehdi. Oh, whoa, what's going on here? I'm a little bit suspect by this. Oh, shit. I'm a little worried John Bash is going to miss. Come on, Ali. Okay, we take those. Double use. All right. I'm less nervous. Woo! Yeah, guys. Why we were shitting bricks at halftime? The ref's on our side. We are so lucky. I don't give a rat's ass. We finally got some luck on our side. Thank fucking Christ. Woo! Ooh. Oh, thank Christ. The, this rep is on our side, guys. I don't give a rat's ass. I don't give a shit. For all the bullshit Iran has dealt with, from referees throughout the years, from World Cups, Asian Cups, all this shit. I don't care. I don't care if it was the right or wrong. Why is Qatar already on the attack? Are we really going to choke the fucking lead? I mean, the, the, the. What is wrong with us? No one can play defense anymore? They really want to give us all a heart attack. Great save by Baron Bont, though. Holy shit. God damn, man. Come on, let's chill. Let's control back the game again. Oh my God, off the fucking... Yeah, he clicked... What the shit? This Pedro guy just grabbed Ezetalahi almost by the neck? What is this? Rev, send him off. Send off these Qatari guys. Dirty! Dirty players, Rev. Come on, man. We be supplying shit to Kuwait. Come on, yellow card it up. Yellow card it up. Send someone off on Qatar side. Send them off. What is this? I mean, it's definitely a foul on Baron Vaughn. He literally headbutts the shit out of him when he clearly has the ball in his hand. Look, so ball is in his hand. Jesus Christ, man. F these Qatar players, bro. Jesus Christ. Two goal line clearance from Qatar. Goal line clearance from us this game. Wow, we have not lost any of our last 45 matches in the Asian Cup when we scored first. That's a crazy, crazy stat. Crazy, crazy stat. I mean, geez, uh, this game has been beyond chaos.
All right, let's go. Kick it off. Let's get back in the game. Let's calm down. Let's relax. We're back in the game. We, we, we're not losing anymore. That's a good thing. So we're pretending it's nil-nil again. So now let's do what we did before. Take it to Qatar, and let's play our game. <laughs> Was it a pen, though? No, it definitely wasn't. But again, I'm not complaining. I don't give a shit. What was that by Mohibi? Now it's whole possession. Let's play our game now. Nice, Jahan Bash. Now he's starting to feel himself a little bit. Okay, Ramin Rezaian. Jesus fucking Christ. What was that? Cool. Our, our ball. Oh, it's gone long out of play, Akram Afif. Who do you think you are? It's our throw in. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, Biden is sending it. I made sure to ring him up. Yeah, that ball obviously goes so far out. What is a thief doing, bro? My guy's reaching right there. Come on. He's saying it. Come on. Go, go, Iran, baby. Go, go, Iran. Let's do this. Come on. We got this. We still got this. Come on. We keep the positive energy. Positive energy. We forget everything we said at halftime. We're back in the game. We can do this, guys. We got this. I mean, it's obviously this is not good for my health, waking up and being this excited and having this much blood pumping through me, but oh my god, what a fucking nutmeg. And then Mehdi just kind of did get, I mean, if he if he was through, that was definitely going to be a foul. Nice. Oh, that was, dude, Jalmbash, since the penalty, bro, he's playing way better. Way better. He's sliding the players through on goal. He's beating. I mean, what a nasty nutmeg by Mehdi. Yeah, that was good defense, actually, from the Qatari defender on after Mehdi megs him. Man, why are you stopping the play? Why, wow, dude, yeah, this Yasim guy, bro, He, you didn't get fouled. You just got beat, bro. Someone's half your height. Don't get beat on a header like that next time, then. Yeah, I mean, I'm shitting bricks, too, bro. We're all in the same boat. Nice. Good cross, Jahan Bash. And it was a shit cross. Come on, bro. Good job, Milad Mohammadi. Dude, I'm not going to lie, though. Milad mohammadi has been pretty good so far in this tournament. I kind of like him more than Esson. Oh, shit. Someone overcooked that. But, dude, my guy is quick. He caught up to him like he was nothing. Holy shit. Oh, someone. And he tackles him. Someone's so much better in those pivot areas with Saeed compared to playing at the 10. In my eyes, anyway. He just kind of, I don't know, in the final third. It's just because of the shit, I think, with Brentford. Because he's now so defensive-minded since he plays defense on Brentford now. Someone. Maybe that's why the DM role fits him a little more. He still has that midfield freedom. But mainly has that defensive work in transitioning the ball. And I think he likes that. I know, seriously. Premier League conditioning right there. Oh no. Asmoon just hit the deck. What's going on, Sardar? No, I don't want to see Mohalu or Asadi in this game. No, no, no. 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 What's happening?
Why is Salman on? I mean, why is Sardar on the floor, bro? I don't want to see Asad or Mokalu in this game. If they do, I'm shooting my brains, bro. No, no, no. We we definitely paid the ref after that penalty. No, dude, this isn't a good sign, man. I'm sorry, Fart sees. I forgot about Karim. I'm sorry, Fart. Wow, apparently Iran is ready to fly fans out for the final on Saturday. I think Godizadeh would kind of be helpful. If Sardar's kind of hurt, I wouldn't risk him for the final. That's just my opinion. Yeah, the Iranian fans are loud, and you need that. These guys need that right now. Like in that Japan game. Shit, bro. How is Qatar carving her? Yes, what a tackle. What a tackle that was. Jesus. Oh, dude, this turf, it's so slippy, man. LOL, he thought he was something after those couple of turns. He thought he was messy for a second there, but he's wrong. Yes! What an absolute legend this guy is. I know, seriously, it's every time we score, we just keep choking the lead. All right, Qatar making subs to bring out that number 10 guy that scored that worldie against China. I don't know what his name is, if you guys want to remind me. I know he was their captain during the World Cup. Jesus, we have not hold, held any possession. Oh, that's his name, Al Hados. Yeah, he's pretty good. But I think he's kind of old now, isn't he? Okay, why are we playing this, like, long ball shit? Nah, 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 that's so soft. I mean, it's definitely not a card. Yo, 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 chill. Come on, man. You guys want to make subs. You got to wait to make those subs. Yeah, he's 33. Yeah, I, I knew he was more on the older side. <laughs> Crazy. We've conceded two goals to freaking Qatar. One of them being an absolute banger. One of them was a bullshit goal, though. It's fine. A bullshit goal for Qatar, a bullshit goal for us, which was the penalty. Oh, wow. They're taking off almost Ali. What, what position does Al Hados play? Wait, no, wait, no. Sorry. Almos Ali's not number nine. I thought he was. My bad. Forget what I just said. <laughs> if I was, I think Shaheen's on to something. If I was a Qatar, if I was Qatar right now, I would take off a thief as well. I think he's right. He might get sent off. You don't want to be down to 10 men. You don't know what's going to happen. I think you take a FIFA off, just for good measure. I think you take off a thief. You guys agree with me? I think we all can agree. Let's just take... Yeah, that Pedro guy was close to actually getting red, being all serious, though. That, that's a good sub, because he was kind of getting close to getting sent off. But I think you take off a thief as well. <clears throat> Dang, they're bringing on a defender. Well, yeah, I think Pedro is a defender. That's so crazy. A Qatari man saying, <laughs> named Pedro. Yeah, exactly. You got to keep him fresh for the rest of the tournament, you know? Take off a fee if you know you never know what's going to happen. You never know. All right, guys, about 25-ish more minutes to hopefully see Iran get one more goal and park the bus. Oh, is he? So he's Portuguese, Pedro Miguel. That's crazy. A Qatari player named Pedro Miguel. That's wild. Pedro Miguel.
Nice. Not nice. Oh, Samon Claudius. He meant to pass that. It obviously was not a shot. Okay, good cross. Jesus Christ. Asmu fell badly there. Oh, I'm a little worried. I mean, dude, that's so suspect. That defender, like, doesn't jump for the ball. He almost, like, shoulder checks behind Asmoon. I don't think he's a pen or anything, but, like, that's kind of horseshit in my opinion because he just undercuts him clearly on purpose. Do we need a make the Tottenham winner, guys? I think we all need Tottenham. He needs to get a goal. If he gets a goal before the final, that would be ideal. Look at all those towels in the stands. That's crazy. I know, Matey is having a pretty stinky game. I don't think he's been awful. I mean, he's trying to do stuff. It's just like he's got to realize he's not at Porto. Like, he's playing with Iran. Like, we, we play things a little differently here. Okay, someone's like, just why did you just clear that? I mean, granted, it did clear to Mohib B. Uh, Mohib B had too much dip in his chip. Maybe not. Ah, damn, man. I thought he was on to something. How is that a foul? Who did he? Did, did he really foul him there, though? Come on, man. Give me freedom, give me fire, give me Aroka, or I retire. That's a good uh, rhyme. He's a classic striker, but because uh, this is he he has no legs, reminds me of Hoslu from Real Madrid. That's true. He just doesn't have. I know. I don't. Want, I'm agree with Magnus. I don't want this to go to E tier pens, bro. I'm gonna be literally pooping myself if that happens. Pooping. Thing is, too, if this goes the, I know you guys don't care about it. But the thing is, if this goes to pens and ET, that means my day is going to be a lot longer because then I have to record the review later. I also have to do the preview for the final. That's what I'm saying. Sooner this game ends, ideally in Iran's favor, the better it will be for me throughout the rest of the day because the longer this game lasts, the less time I get to have to relax tonight. Yeah, I won't be able to watch pens. That's why YouTube pays you the big bucks, Sean. YouTube actually pays me zero dollars. YouTube pays me squat dental nothing. It's actually, it's funny. Your guys' donations actually pay me so much more than, like, for example, like one of my most recent videos, the Japan one, it did really well. I think I want to say I made like two bucks off that video, though. So I'm saying, you guys donating, that's direct money in the YouTube paycheck. Shit. Shit. Yes, Ron a Kanani. Kanani may be a potato, but I do it. I do it, Elmo, because I care about talking about these things. And for you guys. That's all. I don't do it for the big bucks. I don't make big bucks. I'm no I'm no Macwell, okay? I don't make big bucks off this. No, it's not whole day, whole month. It's my uh, whole year, whole lifetime will be ruined. Every single time Iran loses in a big tournament, I always still talk about I mean, we wish we were still talking about the game from the 2018 World Cup against Spain. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, every time Iran loses, we always are still talking about it. Okay, Mohabi, good cross in. Again, dude, we suck fat balls when it comes to crosses. Jesus Christ. Nice. Nice, John Bash. Good turn. Come on. Good cross, Ramin. 
Okay, it's a corner. It was a shit cross, but we'll take it. Really shitty cross. Magnus. Kind of needs a potato, but potatoes are good for you. In fact, the Irish love them. I want to do some of the stuff you guys say are just so tweet worthy stuff. It's so funny to me. Yeah, exactly. Iran seems so like rest the bed about the referee now after that penalty. What the hell was that? He didn't attempt the shot. That was obviously to cross it back in. Nice, Mohebi. Okay, good cross, Milad. That's okay. That was actually probably one of our best crosses in the game. That's why we brought on Milad. Come on, give it to Said. Said. Oh, he almost spilled it right to Mehdi. <sighs> See, this is better from us. This is better. Oh, my God. It almost spilled perfectly for a Mehdi. Oh, my God. That was so close. See, this is way better from us. This is the the play I wanted to see from Iran. Now, this is how I want to see us play. Oh <gasps> no! Th that was actually Jamash's like first good cross, but it was to nobody. Much better. Just get one good cross. I know one of our guys will finish it. Get it on Mehdi's head. That noggin will bang that in. I mean, Jesus, that guy def that was definitely an illegal throw. Like his leg was definitely up there, but it's okay. Okay, good job, Rami. All right, let's keep it up. Much, much better from us guys. Much, much better. Holding the possession. It's in our control. We're not letting it be Qatar doing their their bullshit. It's all us. Okay, that was a okay. I jinxed us right there. What the heck was that? I don't know. It'd just be criminal, too, if Qatar make another Asian Cup final because they've been so bad since winning in 2019. They've been so cheeks. They've been such a bad representation of Asian football, in my opinion. And that's what looks so goofy if they make the final because they've just been so poo. Okay, good. Almost Ali messed up that header. Iran beating Qatar 4-0 looks like a lucky game for Iran right now. But again, different managers, different circumstances. I was hoping we would have a similar-ish performance. I thought Qatar wouldn't take it to us, but they have been taking it to us a lot in this game. Exactly. It's the whole like not being super worried about the ref stuff definitely played, plays a part in it. We're not worried about what the ref's doing. Yes! Count on me a lot better from you, big man. That's my potato right there. That's okay. Another corner. We take those. We take those. We got big bodies, baby. We got big bodies. Come on, lads. Time to big body it up. Go, potato. Can I think Kanoni kind of owes it. I mean, dude, he missed an open goal at the end of that first half. Kanoni needs the head one in. He's won us a penalty. He needs to get himself a goal. He scored last time twice against Qatar. It would be poetic if he could do it again. Mr. Potato. Oh, off the crossbar. Holy macaroni. That was a good header. Oh, that was Khalilzadeh. Yeah. Oh, no, it doesn't hit the crossbar. He just tips it over. That might have been hitting the crossbar, though. I know. Seriously, I saw that wink, too. Yeah, stay down, Akram Afif. Stay down, bro. Your team wasn't like they were on the attack or anything, and they definitely needed you. Bro, That yeah, I know that Arab guy <laughs> winking. That you think that was to me? I think it was, too. Yeah, dude, we're playing a lot better. We're shutting down anything. There's no foul, Akram Afif. Get up, bro. Nah, dude, he doesn't even touch your neck. 
Yes, now Qatar is getting all frazzled about the refereeing. Ha <laughs> ha, it's not nice now, is it? The Iranian panning to the Iranian women. Dude, Mohibi is wide spanking open if he can play like the perfect pass to him. Oh, we're just crossing it in. God damn it. Okay, let's do this, guys. We're back in. 15 more minutes. Yeah, that was a decent cross. Nice. Okay, not bad. Okay, don't just spank it or anything stupid like that, someone. Nice. Off the line. You got to be fucking joking me. That should have been a goal. That's our ball. Jesus Christ. That should have been a goal. Mohibi does such a matey, bro. Come on, just slam that shit in. That header by Asmoon was insane. Matey, bro. How have you not scored there? Spank it in. Jesus Christ. That was a great header by Asmoon. Matey's got to do so much better there. He's got to do so much better. What is going on? Oh, what were they waiting for? Was there a possible penalty? I don't think there was when I saw the replays. Okay, nice. Shit, bad giveaway by Jahan Bash. Nah, that's a dive, bro. Yeah, as Moon the flying Iranian. Nah, bro, that's not a yellow though. He he almost got the ball. Relax. Good stuff. Let's not give Qatar any more chances offensively. Nice, Mohebi. Bit of a questionable pass, but you know what? It's okay. Okay, Sai, that was a little bit of a, a kind of a poo poo pass, mate. Dude, seriously, the ref is on your own side. If this goes to Pens, Barum, okay, nice, good giveaway. Oh, that's a terrible fucking pass. Jesus Christ. Nice tackle, Saeed. That's fine. That worked out nicely. Holy Mac. I Saeed. Jesus Christ. Funnily enough, that clearance back to Mohibi actually worked out so nicely for us. Okay, this is how I wanted us to play. I wanted Qatar to be defending for their lives, not us, bro. Now we're playing so much better. This is better from us. Let's get the late goal. Let's win this match. Oh, they're making another sub. They're bringing in another... Uh... Pedro. Dude, I think you bring in Golizad. I'm surprised, dude, the lack of minutes Golizad has gone. If we had a guy like Golizad, I think we would have iced this game off, bro. Oh, their goalkeeper's hurt again. Holy macaroni. Now keep him on, man. I want him to keep in playing hurt, bro. Dude, it looks like he's done so. Come on, man. This is like clear time wasting. Like clear as day. I know, seriously. Golizade would be clutch. He'd be a great X Factor right now. On a tired Qatari defensive legs. 
Oh god, they're replaying the penalty we got. Like the the handball. Dude, I love how Mughalu, he my guy's like my grandma. He's holding the Iranian B things in his hands. What is he doing? He just knows he's not gonna play. He's just there for the good luck with the beads. What is this? He's like my grandma. He's like my mama Bozork. That's crazy. This feels like final 10 minutes versus Japan. It does. It really, really does. Let Mohalu pray. We need God's help. Seriously, we do. We need to hope the ref gives us another dodgy penalty. We win the game. Wow, well, Qatar make their final sub. If their goalkeeper's hurt, yeah, he's he has to toughen it out for the rest of the game. That was their fifth sub. Oh, that was a bit of a nippy back pass. Baron Vaughn kind of low-key time-wasting there. He was thinking about grabbing it and not thinking about grabbing it. Shite. Kuwaiti ref getting revenge. Bro, you guys are menaces in the comments. Menaces. Oh, geez, Ramin. Dude, he's been getting cooked by... Oh, God, he's getting cooked. Someone needs to double... John Bash, we need you to do some Matoma covering here. Good job. He's off, right? He's not. Oh, no. We've lost. We've lost the game. We've lost. We've lost. Oh, he is so... No, Ramin Rezaion keeps him on. <sighs> That's game, guys. We lost. We lost. We've lost. We didn't take our chances. Yep. Ah, sick. Sick. So bullshit. That's such a horseshit goal because Qatar didn't even play well at all. This was our golden freaking ticket, bro. That's such a bullshit goal because he shoots it and it falls to almost Ali. He doesn't even pass that to him. You got to be joking me. I don't know. We need to make subs now, bro.
Make subs. It's now or never. Can't believe this. We were dominating them. Dominating them. This whole second half, it's been all us. And we give away such another cheap freaking goal. Ramin Rezaion can't cross the ball to save his life. His crosses are terrible. Can't believe we're going to lose the fucking almost Ali, bro. God damn, man. It's so stupid. Mohalu's coming on. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Not bring on goalies out there. That's cool. Yeah, he's fucking on sides. Rezion, you have to push up more, bro. Rezion costing us this game. He's been so bad. I can't believe we're going to lose. It's so horseshit. You have to take off a defender, and it's Ramin Rezaian. Yeah, the guy who's been playing terrible this game. We're not going to bring on Golizade? Okay, that makes sense. Makes sense. A guy who could make a huge difference in this game, too. But instead, we bring on Shahriar Mughalu, the guy who had the stinker against Hong Kong. Wow. I can't believe we've lost, guys. Guess I don't need to worry about an Asian Cup final preview because we're not in it. Can't believe we're going to lose again in the semifinals because we're conceding three goals, man. <sighs> Jesus. Akram Afif. I can't believe we lost.
This is just shocking from us. Well, hippie, you got to get it off your feet, bro. <sighs> Good job, Saeed. Man, it's uh, sweet. I think, guys, that's the end of our tournament. Thirteen minutes of added time. Holy crap. Oh shit, Akram Afif's thrill. No, it was it's a yellow, it's not a red. <sighs> It's super annoying, man. It's super annoying because we had such a golden ticket and we start off this game so well. Bro, how is this being reviewed for a red? No, it's not. No way. <sighs> it's got to be joking me. He's not, like, clear through on goal, though. That's the thing. Yeah, there's still quite a bit of distance. There's still other defenders back. Ah, uh, it's a red. Wow. All right, that's game over, guys. GG's. Cool. Time to kid die. That's the end of our Asian Cup. The end of our tournament, just like that. I can't believe it's all over. The fact we didn't bring on Golizade is so surprising to me. It's so, so surprising to me.
Because the thing is, even if we score, we're still playing down 10 men, bro. I think that might have hit the hand. Does it? No, it doesn't hit any hand. His hands are behind the back. That was a good block. I think he hits that really well. And it's another shit corner. <sighs> he... Such a bad shot by John Bashk. <sighs> Trying to recreate that almost Ali S goal. Thing is, we don't even win the game, even if we score. We're just sending it to ET. Dude, ever since bring on Mohalu, he hasn't done jack shit. Should have been Gulizad that we brought on. It makes no sense. I get it for bodies, but you should have been bringing both of them in. Not just like I get the idea, but like stay on sides, stay on sides. Okay, corner. Okay, he clearly throws that not to the corner, but it's cool. Come on. Yeah, the red card was not fair. I mean, definitely wasn't. I don't think it was a red, but it's whatever. Good job. That was a great cross by Mehdi, but he but he can't head the ball. He can't be clutch for us, bro. Dude, he's flying like a fish. Head the ball down, not up. Jesus Christ, he was so wide open. That should have been so much better. And now he's cramped. What are you cramping? You didn't even play the last game. All his tears from crying the last two games has made him cramp because he has not enough water in his legs. So stupid. So, so stupid. How does Qatar, this, they're so wank, they're so bad, but yet they're making back-to-back -back Asian Cup finals. It makes no sense. No sense whatsoever. No sense. I'm super pissed. I'm not sad. Also sucks we're down to 10 men. Probably doesn't help. I mean, obviously it doesn't matter because... Doing our own. Oh, we're bringing on Asadi now. Sick. Nice, guys. Dude, Asadi, fuck your ankle tape. Get in the game. Who's he coming in for? <laughs> God. Not bring on Golizade. Just bring on. Now we have four strikers on the field. That's crazy. Four. Oh, Mehdi's the one who got subbed out? Who was the guy that Jamash just set through on goal and he just missed? Mohalu. Absolute clown, man. Why are you sliding? Jamash puts you so well through on goal there, and you don't get your body in front of the ball. Mm. 
What is Kanani doing? That's game, guys. Not enough time. Hmm, that's the end. Yeah, everyone's going to be angry. No one's going to be happy. Everyone's going to be disappointed. Good for Qatar. Good for Qatar. Because this makes total sense. Hey, that's football, man. Sometimes the most unpredictable people. Sometimes the most unpredictable pe teams just always just do something. I mean, hey, Jordan made it to the final. Who would have thought? Just toss it to someone on our team. Just throw it into Baron Vaughn. You don't have to hoof it up, guys. We need to at least hold some sort of possession to at least maybe conjure up one more opportunity for ourselves. Oh, cool. Now we're back to a thief going to the corner flag. Ah, oh, shit. And it's back to another two minutes. Yeah, Jordan beat South Korea, and they're in the final. Take the throw in. Jesus. Nice. So uh, Reza Asadi and Mogalu's contributions, negative 10,000. They did n absolutely nothing when coming on. Come on, bro. That's game, guys. There's not enough time. That's 13 minutes. Off the
All right, Baron Vaughn's up. Good corner, Salmon. Hoof it in, hoof it in. Corner again. Please, 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 please. That's the end, guys. That's the end of the tournament. All right, well, you have your highs, you have your lows. Hitting the post in the 90th minute, it's not even just like you hit the outside of the post. It hit the inside of the post. The 90th minute. So frustrating. So, so frustrating. I don't know what to say, guys.
hitting the post and then uh, that's the thing is hitting the post Mohalu having that decent chance like we had chances too at the end really good chances at the end we had such good chances at the end to score John Bash I mean what more can he do he plays that shit so well he plays that shit so so well Mehdi taught him he did nothing in this game so many chances fell to him. So many. We maybe have been better off if he didn't play this game. That's it. I mean, I, I get it. We beat Japan. Like, that's cool and all, but I don't know, man. Like, to, for Kalanoi to do the hard work and then fail at the easy work, I don't know. It's so stupid. In my opinion, I... This has to, this isn't the wake up call we need. That this, we're done. This generation was never meant to play in a final or to finally ma make the next step. Uh, well, I'll have my review out shortly. I'm probably not going to do. As of now, I don't plan on doing a preview for the final. Do you guys want to, do you guys want me to do a Asian Cup final stream? Let me know if you do, if you don't. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be in the mood to do it at this point. I thought we were going to make the final, so that's why. Yeah, I mean, we started off the game well. We got complacent. We let Qatar get back in the game. We got a lifeline. We didn't want to score the third. Then Qatar get one fluky chance off of nothing. And they score, and then we don't take our chance at the end. Yeah, I definitely want Jordan to win this final too, 100%. It is what it is. Time to turn off all notifications on Twitter and stuff. Because I'm just going to do the review and then go on with my day. Because that's the end of that. That is definitely the end of that. I'm just still so speechless. Let's see where we're at with likes on this and see if we want to hit another like target before the stream ends while we have you. Likes. 70 of us in here. Do you guys want to try to hit like 100 likes before the... You guys want to hit... 100... Let's try to hit 100 likes on the stream. I'd massively appreciate it. That's the end, guys. That's the end of, uh, I think, the streams and stuff. That's the end of... the end of it all it's been a fun tournament there's been ups there's been downs i've been happy to been able to cover it obviously i will still have my review out for the final i mean sorry not for the final for this game that's the probably the last video by the looks of it no one wants me to stream the final honestly i don't even want to do it i'd rather just go on with my day i don't really care enough so yeah i think this the review will be the last thing and then we're calling it a day Per usual, guys, if you guys are Iranian national team fans, 
You guys know I'll be streaming. Every, I'll try to be streaming every single one of Iran's matches from friendlies to qualifiers as much as possible till the next World Cup. Yeah. It sucks. It really, really sucks. I appreciate you guys for being a part of this because definitely this Asian Cup coverage was really fun. There was, again, obviously there's ups, there was downs. It just what kill. I think what kills us is the fact that we beat Japan. So like there, we didn't go into that game with much hope, you know? The fact we beat Japan, we all became optimistic again. Like for once in our lives, Iranians became optimistic. We became hopeful. And we score in the th first three minutes of this game. And we thought, okay, this could be it. We could finally make it to the final. But instead, it didn't happen. It's unfortunate, but yeah, it is what it is. <sighs> it's a tough one. It's a tough one for sure. I think I'll probably be off social media for the next couple of days. I'm really not in the mood after all the shit that's been going down. Uh, I'm probably going to be off of it. I just don't feel like reading everyone's. And same with messages. I know I already know billions of people are going to troll me and send me messages, and it sucks. Because they know how much it means to me when I see Iran win and when I see Iran lose. So, Yeah. I appreciate everybody for being in the stream. I appreciate all your guys' kind messages. It just sucks. So definitely going to be off social media for a little bit. For sure. I'll have the review out shortly, guys. That's pretty much going to be the end of the stream. Make sure if you're not subscribed, be subscribed for the channel if you like Asian football. Make sure to watch the review if you guys want to chime in with your guys' opinions when that's out, hopefully in the next couple of hours. Asian Cup Final, maybe after I give it like a day or two to simmer, maybe I'll do a, a, a live stream for the final. If not, I might just sleep in. It's at 7 in the morning for me. I don't really care enough. I don't really care. So, yeah. Uh, that's it, guys. That's the end of it. Make sure to chime in once the review's out, boys and girls. I hope you'll have a lovely day.